We're now going to review a Boris Continuum Complete lens correction tool, and we're also going to look at the Adobe lens correction tool. So to see what this tool does, we'll just kind of click on here. Once you, now the lens correction tool is under, once again, BCC9 image restoration. It becomes a standard part of their image restoration tools and also part of Boris Continuum Complete. So we have a scene here. It's a little off here, crooked. If I click on the lens correction tool that we're going to notice that some corrections are going to be made to the film. And we'll turn it off, turn it on. And I'm just trying to straighten out these lines here along these buildings, especially down at the bottom. Let's take a look at this bottom here. I'll turn it off and I'll turn it on. And we're straightening this film out. Let's go to the next scene. This is with our lens correction tool off. You can see that everything is just off tilt. It's all. It's almost as if the film is tilted on a downslope. So I'm going to wind up taking this, I'll turn it on, and bam! You can level this film out using this tool. And this is a must-have tool if you are trying to film with a GoPro on a flat scene on a tripod. We use this tool on almost every scene that we filmed with a GoPro. Let me repeat this again. We use this tool on almost every scene that we film with a GoPro. And it doesn't matter whether you're using a GoPro or a JVC or a 3D camcorder. We filmed this film with the JVC 3D camcorder. We used it on all of our camcorders. When this tool came out, we decided to use it on almost all of our scenes. And I never realized how crooked my film was and still I wound up using this tool. So let's go to another scene again. We'll turn it. We can see that it looks like it's a little crooked. We're gonna wind up turning it on and bam, we can straighten the film out the way that we wanna get this film leveled off. We'll come to another scene. You can see this, all these buildings look like that they're crooked. We'll click it on and wow, look at that. Let's look at the top of this building. Look how that is crooked. That is a scene that is not savable. We use this tool, it's gonna to crop it in, but look at that roof line. It is now straight. You look for these kind of points, especially related to the sky, that should be straight across. And we notice now that we've straightened that particular scene out. And now we save film that was not usable. Once again, let's take a look at this particular scene. We'll click it on and we do some slight adjustments to try to level the film off. So this film, this tool serves a couple purposes. Uh, you have what's called the FX browser here that you can come with presets and they have correcting the fish eye look which is also happens when you're using with a gopro the wider you have the setting on the more of the fish eye look you're going to get and this tool flattens out that film and corrects that lens distortion uh, people for some reason try to put these gopro cameras on such a wide angle look super wide and then they get that fish eye look and it's just not professional looking so let's go ahead and we'll wind up taking a look at some of what these controls are and we'll turn around and understand exactly what we're doing here. Now, the main tool to straighten your film out, let's once again, let's turn it off, is this rotation tool. So let's turn around and set that to zero. And that's what our original film looked like. It had a rotation. And what you do is, you if you go to the positive, it moves it to the right. And you go to the negative it tilts the film to the left. And I found that two worked for me on this particular film. But what you have to do is you have to use this scale master item here to zoom the film in a little. Otherwise, you're going to wind up getting some edges on the side. So it is going to wind up cropping your film, but it is going to tilt that film and you're going to wind up saving a tremendous amount a film. So once again, this is crooked. You'll notice we have rotation on two. We have scale master on seven, 107 percent, and we were able to straighten the film out. We come along to our next particular scene that we had looked at before regarding the roof line was way out. We'll click on this this particular tool, and you'll notice that we add a rotation on four, and we because it. Of course, the larger the rotation, the more you do the rotation, the more you're going to have to wind up adjusting this scale. So that's what the Boris Continuum Complete Lens Correction Tool does, that there's a lot of different 
controls that you can play around in here. You can click on these items and they have sliders. Uh, but it's just a really good tool and it'll save a tremendous amount of film. And what happens is that the more you start to use this tool, the more scenes you're going to wind up using it on. You're going to say, God, my film is crooked on almost every scene. And we were able to fix every single scene and we and saved a tremendous amount of film by using this particular tool. The other thing I also want to mention is this was the only tool that we found that works with the Vision 3 Imaging Inc. 3D editing system. An example is Adobe also shipped a tool as part of Adobe CC 2014, which is why that we went to it. It's under the category presets within the effects and you go to your lens distortion removal and they have under here a GoPro for a GoPro Hero 2, a GoPro Hero 3, uh, 3 and a Hero 3 Plus Black. They'll probably be adding the tool shortly for the Hero 4. They don't have it yet. They have different settings based on what you're filming on. Here we see they have 1080, uh, 1440, 2.7K. Um, and then you have the 4K wide, 4K cinema. So they have a lot of the different settings which are related to the GoPro. If you go to the 2.7K medium, which is what we recommend uh, at that particular point then that it automatically attempts to adjust the curvature or the film that is related to that GoPro footage and flatten it out so that you have a nice flat look. And just take some of your GoPro footage and try this Adobe tool on. We did run into a problem with the tool working with the Vision 3 Imaging Inc. And they also don't have that leveling function, which is part of this BCC lens correction tool. And once again, this comes with image restoration tools. And we use a lot of those for, from Boris Continuum Complete. So you aren't paying any extra money to use this tool. As part of Boris Continuum Complete, we use Flicker Fixer, Lens Correction, Magic Sharp, Noise Reduction, Optical Stabilizer. So this is another excellent tool that's been put into the package. It's part of BCC9, doesn't cost you any extra money, and try this particular tool out that you will be amazed.